You gotta love that one. Playing right here on a Bounce Nation. My name is Philin John Hang out with the one and only DJ. Yes, the big doctor DJ. Ah, no me tuan fia una mtu na vile uko tu hapa. Ah, ni comments na soma. Una juu mimi kona bounces kwa le. I have to see na soma vinyo na niambi apa le online. That's 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 what I'm checking. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. It's all good. No judgment, right? Yes. Not, we're not judging. <laughs> but today we're privileged enough to have an amazing guest. She's not only beautiful, but she is also a singer, recording and performing artist, as well as a song writer. All the way from Tanzania. Let's give it up for the one and only Dada. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Tanzani. Karibu sana. How are you doing? I'm doing really well, thank you. It's good to have you in Thanks studio for me. today. So exciting to be here. I know, you know, when I say Tanzania, people are a bit confused. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> she's from Tanzania. Are you sure? Like, okay, tell us a little bit, give us a little background about that. Because I know initially you're from uh, Germany and Colombia. Exactly. But you're right now, you're based in Tanzania. So tell us yes. how you leave Germany to Tanzania. I'm a for Tanzania. How did that happen? Okay, so the order is kind of the opposite. Basically, yes. I'm... My dad is German, my mom is Colombian, mm. but I grew up in Arusha. Shout oh. out to Arusha. <laughs> uh, that's where I grew up until... For real? Yeah, and it's still home. My family still lives there. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Like, I would never have guessed. So, uh, you grew up in Arusha, so that means you understand Swahili completely. Ndiyo, naelewa. Naongea pia. Ah, nice. So, tuambie kusu jina lako. So, jina lako ni dada. Na dada katika Kiswahili na mwanisha msichana, basically. So, tell us about that. Your choice of name for your... Yeah. Yeah, your choice of name. So, yeah, inatoka Kiswahili. It comes from dada. Because, I mean, I grew up with a brother. And my brother has always called me dada. And I always call him kaka. To this day, it's what we call each other. And when it came to choose my artist name, mm -hmm. I thought it was perfect because the word, I mean, I'm comfortable with it because it's my nickname with my brother. I love the word and it also means, it means sister, which is something that's yeah. super important to me, sisterhood yeah. and, and women. So, and yeah. it basically it came from your brother. So mm -hmm. you used to call each other Dada and, uh, and, and Naya Pita Kaka. Oh, you Pita Kaka and Pita Dada. Ndiyo, ni here. So, Kanza Kuimba, alafu, you just decided to go with it. Mm -hmm. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Tuambie Kidogo, uh, about uh, your history in music, how did that happen? Give us a little background about that. Did you always uh, know you wanted to pursue music as a career? Mm -hmm. Or is it just something that came along the way? I've always known, to be mm. honest. Mm. I started playing violin when I was five. Mm. And you should have brought violin. That would have been should epic. Have that. Imagine that. Yes, yes, next yeah. time. Yeah. Right? Next time I'll bring yeah. it. Please, please, please. <laughs> bring violin. Not a lot of people play violin. People true. play guitar and, and keyboard and all that. A lot of, not many people play violin. True. It's yeah. a tricky one to sound good at. Yeah. It sounds really bad for years and years and then eventually you get good. <laughs> <laughs> eventually you get it. Yeah. So I started yeah. with violin, mm -hmm. then picked up the guitar that was kind of just lying around mm. and taught myself some guitar chords and started writing songs mm. and wrote my first one when I was about seven. Mm. And okay, wait, what was it about? <laughs> People always <laughs> ask that. that. <laughs> Do you even remember it? I remember that it was an emotional song. Yeah. It was about something that I probably which I had no idea about yeah. at that age. Somehow, because I remember one lyric, which was, for if I did. It was like, for if I did, da 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 <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> but yeah, and I've just been writing music ever since. Right. So professionally, when was the first time you went to studio now for a serious recording session? Um, so I, I got the chance pretty early on, like when I was 11, to, to go to a studio. Obviously nothing crazy came out of it, but mm. I think that was my first kind of contact mm -hmm. with recording when I was about 11 or 12. Right. Now you have this song, Kitty, mm -hmm. an amazing song, and uh, especially because it speaks, uh, it, you said it's a dedication to women it all is. over the world. Tell us about that. Why is it so important for you to, to speak about women, uh, about women empowerment, that is? So I think it's just something that, that's so, so clear is that half, half our world population is, is female, and, and yet in a lot of spaces, women don't make up that 50%, mm. much less. And and they deserve to be on, have a seat at the table to have a Kiti Mezani in any space they want to. And yet sometimes women don't feel empowered to do that or don't feel confident enough. And they really should, because we're amazing. We're, we're I've actually amazing never beings. thought about it that way. That mm. I, I think this is like, f for real, because women make about half the world's population. In mm. fact, if 
a lot of men insist women are more mm. than men, but you go to a lot of spaces, women are not represented as much. Even exactly. in political states, like so very few women, they don't even make up to uh, like two thirds. Yeah. Yeah. Let it let it be heard though that here I'm seeing lots of women <laughs> behind the, the cameras and everything. So. Yeah. In Kudos. studio, by the way, in studio today. Actually, right now we only have okay. I said from Epic behind the scenes, women. Only three guys with a lot of women. <laughs> <laughs> so women actually. How do you feel about that? It's Knowing awesome. that women are okay. I, I, I don't want to say <laughs> taking over, but they are finally, you know. Deciding to take up the, the you know, the, the rightfully taking their place. Yes, mm. and I love it. Yeah. Yes. There's the the cake is big enough for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. So, okay. Yeah, let's all grind. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> right. I actually like that. I, I like that a lot. Yeah. Right. So tell us, like, when when you have the inspiration about the song, did you know already, like, that's what you wanted to speak about, or when you're just making the song, you're like, you know what? Let me just mention women, or it's something you like, it's close to your heart. Is this something you've always advocated for? It is. I I grew up with, surrounded by lots of strong women, who I'm super super proud of, and. One being my mom, my grandmothers, yeah, they me so much, I, yeah, and uh, so it's always something that's been super close to my heart, and and uh, and I, yeah, I knew from the start that I wanted to to make this song about that and dedicate it to those women and to all the women out there who are just grinding and amazing, thriving. And speaking of your mom, who is in the studio, by the way, gorgeous, <laughs> she is also a manager. She is. Tell us about that. Is it easier to work <laughs> with your mom, or like you know, like? Chris Jenner, she's a manager, manages True. all her kids. True. So now you have a manager. How does that make you feel? Especially when you go to different spaces, music is very different. Mm. Uh, you, you Maybe when you're performing at uh, spaces that are not mom friendly. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. does she take it? Is she, during that time, is she the mom or the manager? Does she put on a face like, you know what, this mom aside, <laughs> this is the manager when she's negotiating and everything? Yeah, she definitely does. Because mm. even when I write songs about whatever topic, like she, she sees me as an artist. She respects <laughs> my art. Um, but it's really nice generally because, I don't know, your mom always has your best interests at heart. That is true. And that is true. That is very true. It feels very safe. Yeah, and, and actually getting to walk and see her, yeah. at seeing her and working with her and walking with her when you have to go to different venues, I think that is really, really something. Yeah. Because some of us have to travel all the way just to go see the, your mom. But you yeah. working with your mom, I think it's very special. All right, yeah. now, you are best in Tanzania right now. Grew up in Tanzania, actually. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of Tanzanians listen to bongo. Mm -hmm. But your style of music is not particularly, especially for this song, is not bongo per mm -hmm. se. So is this something just experimental? Are we going to see you do a bongo song? Or are you sticking with this? No, you, you will most likely hear yeah. bongo mm -hmm. soon. Or, or a fusion of bongo with, with me mm -hmm. and my other influences. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, yeah, this, this song is obviously uh, shout out to South Africa for yeah. giving us Ama Piano, Ama gifting Piano. it to the world. And I was just talking about that. We have a DJ who's coming in today mm. from South Africa. He's called DJ Bax. Mm, so nice. I'm really excited about that. Cool. <laughs> you awesome. bringing us an Ama Piano song is, you know, mm -hmm. great. And you just spoke about um, you're probably going maybe to do something different with uh, uh, maybe inspired with some of your influencers. Who has those? Who are some of the people that have influenced you along the way? And probably your style of music as well. So I think since as early as I can remember, my biggest idol has probably been Shakira. Ah, <laughs> okay. Colombia, the Colombian exactly. in you couldn't resist. The Colombian connection is strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but all sorts of influences. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I grew up listening to a lot of, a lot of Latin American music, mm -hmm. but a lot of pop and hip hop as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and African music as well. Um, so yeah, I, I see you speak a little bit of everything. Yeah, a little everywhere. bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. So Shakira, speaking of that, are you? Did you just get her? Okay, the voice or also the dance jeans, the Colombian Oof. dance jeans. I mean, <laughs> I wish I had more. I'm not a professional dancer whatsoever. <laughs> I wish I had more of that jean. But I, I know, I, right? I like dancing. I, I know. It's really, really, especially Shakira. I think she's mm -hmm. undefeated. Like she's when it comes crazy. to, she's quite something. Yeah. All right, let's talk about um, you have different ethnicities. Are we going to see you express that in your music? 
Yeah, definitely. Mm. I think lyrically that's something that I do a lot because mm. I grew up speaking Spanish to my mom, German to my dad. Mm -hmm. And I write in those languages as well mm -hmm. because that's just how I communicate normally when I'm talking. And so mm. it's natural to me to do that in my music as well a bit. Mm -hmm. And I love, I love mixing different things, whether it's languages or sounds or I think fusion is where the magic happens. Awesome. And uh, you've been in Kenya for a while now. So mm. are you just visiting? Are you here on a tour? Are you here to perform? Yeah, tell us about that. Yeah, so I'm here on a little mini tour. Mm. Uh, I was in Tanzania last week uh, touring a little bit, mm. doing some performances and uh, Kenya as well. Mm. I arrived only a couple days ago, mm. but it seems like I've been here for longer because it's been, it's been amazing. <laughs> met so many amazing people. What has been the most amazing thing about Kenya so far? The music. Ah! Yeah. No way. I think okay, who are you currently li listening to uh, that is Kenyan that you've been loving? So, I, uh, I have quite recently discovered a lot of Kenyan amazing female artists. Mm. Uh, for instance, um, uh, Groovy Joe. Groovy! Mm -hmm. There is no way. For I real? Recently she discovered was actually supposed she's to come today, but she's going to come uh, to the show next week. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. She's, she's incredible. Really talented, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bekita. Yeah. Um, who else? Karun. I miss Love. Karun. She's really Kamula. I know, right? <laughs> I, know. I know. Like, I don't know why Kamula did us like that, but I'm so glad that she's still holding on. Like, she's very, very talented. Mm -hmm. She's very talented. Yeah. yeah. So lots of. I feel like there's so much, so much talent here. So many amazing, inspiring artists. Like, do you know, female. like, what I love most about the fact that you actually said you support women and you can see that even through your music. You've mentioned Nikita, Karun, mm. you've mentioned Ruby Joe. I'm, I'm sure some people, okay, apart from Nikita, who's like very well known, some people don't even know quite well about Karun and even Groovy Joe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you're from uh, a different country and you already know who they are. I think that's quite something. Yeah. All right. So uh, as we wind up, I wonder, uh, do you have any upcoming projects, maybe with any female artists from Kenya or male artists, any artists from mm -hmm. Kenya while you're here? Are we going to see you do something with any Kenyan artists? I, I will be, hopefully, mm. but uh, nothing, nothing that I can necessarily speak about, speak about yet. Yeah. But mm. uh, I hope so. I yeah. hope very soon. All right. And other than that, I have a new song coming out uh, on July 14th. Mm. And it's pre-savable if you go to my bio, Dada Music, D-A-A-D-A -A -D -A Music, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find a link and you can pre-save it. All right. <laughs> you have something to say? I, I, no, I, no, 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 smile, no. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying the interview. You're really excited about yes, this yeah, the, the, just, the upcoming I'm listening to your song. vibe. <laughs> yeah. pre-saved yeah. it already. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just enjoying the interview here. <laughs> on my side. <laughs> All right, no problem. All right, so you have to perform for us, Kitty, once again. But All before right. you do that, uh, <coughs> take us through the making, the making of the song. Because I've seen mm -hmm. you on the beach and yeah. all that. We want to see, check us behind the scenes, just a little okay. bit. Okay, it was an incredible process. It mm -hmm. was a project, a baby of Dar es Salaam. Everything was, the music was produced in Dar es Salaam with Dax Ochali. <coughs> Excuse producer. me, yeah. So a producer from, from Dar es Salaam, mm. we made the song with. Mm. And yes, yeah, so we made the video in Dar es Salaam as well. We went all over the place to the yeah. beach, to uh, <laughs> Sokoni, mm. and filmed also just women in their thriving in their, in their, in their work. Mm. And um, we also broke some stereotypes. We were mechanics in a scene. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was incredible. Also had four female dancers, super talented girls with me. Very, very talented. Mm -hmm. We saw that and we were vibing with it. All right, so um, go ahead and send any shout outs if you have any uh, on this camera, camera four. If mm -hmm. you have any shout outs, if you have anyone you want to shout out, uh, do that and give us your social media as well. All right, uh, I mean, big shout out to everyone who's watching. Thank you so much. Yeah. And a uh, big shout out to Dax Ochali, the producer of, of Kitty, mm. and uh, to my fam, to all my friends. Love you guys. Um, and yeah, my handles are Dada Music. D A A D A music mm -hmm. uh, on all platforms Instagram, TikTok. Um, I'm also on Spotify and Boomplay and YouTube and everywhere. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming too. And Thank we are looking guys. forward to having you once again. Whenever you come to Kenya, this is home. So just make sure you pass by. Exactante. We'll be so glad to have you again. All right. Thank you. Guys. So right now, um, Epic has to play for us, Kitty, and you perform for us once again. All right. Uh, before we go. But we're still right here. The hashtag is Bounce Nation. Keep talking to us at Feeling Jin, at DJ, at Epic, Epic the, the DJ. DJ. Right. Yes. And <laughs> at Y254 channel across all socials. We're coming right back.